This is the right kind of downside surprise. Jobless claims fall 227,000 after 232,000, a revision upward of 1,000 uh, last week. This is for the last week of August. Continuing claims at 1,838,000 uh, after 1,860,000. So that falls as well. So uh, <laughs> overall, the jobless claims numbers are pretty good. I'm looking at the unadjusted data, and they went down. Jobless claims totaled 189,389 in the uh, unadjusted data, which is a decrease of 3,300. So we are not seeing layoffs. And this gets back uh, to yesterday, the Beige Book, where you saw over and over again in the Beige Book that uh, Fed districts were reporting companies saying they were holding on to workers, but they're not filling jobs via attrition, and they're not uh, fill fill filling jobs to expand. They're just kind of sitting with what they've got. And uh, it looks like that's definitely the case here between ADP and jobs claims. Not letting people go, but they're not adding people either. And this market really just feels like it's so finely balanced right now on a knife's edge. That number just dropped and futures briefly turned positive on the S&P 500. And if you bring up the bond market at the front end of the curve, yields were a little bit higher going into ADP. ADP came out, downside surprise, bonds start to rally, yields dropped by up to four basis points. This number drops, yields start to unwind some of that move. We're down now only two, two basis points, the 373. And this is why about 30 minutes ago we opened up this hour and we all said, this is how finely balanced things are going into payrolls. We are one bad print away from pricing in a string of 50 basis point rate cuts and one good print away from seemingly unwinding some of the moves over the last month or so. And the lack of clarity in the economy is really uh, just sort of uh, unprecedented in many ways. I keep thinking about this, and Mike, I'd love your take on this. I keep thinking about what the difference is and how big the delta is between not hiring a lot of people and actually firing people. And it seems like even in the beige book, people aren't hiring people as so readily unless they're going to try to replace a role. How connected is that as a step to then laying people off in this sort of not linear trajectory, but very predictable trajectory? Well, it's definitely uh, a semi-predictable trajectory in the past in terms of when you go into recession. First thing you do is you cut back on workers' hours. So we'll be looking at that tomorrow to see if uh, hours work go cuts back at all. Uh, you cut back on temporary workers, and we saw that in the ADP report today with uh, professional and business services falling by 16,000 jobs. So those are signs that things could be happening. But everything has been so weird since the pandemic, which we keep saying and saying and saying, you've got people here wondering, are we normalizing because we had such a strong labor market or are we going down and the Fed needs to take emergency steps to stop it? Throw in two other factors. One, it's September, and so the markets are primed for bad news, and every September the market goes down, and, and we're seeing that. They're looking for things to get upset about. And then you have the election, and there are people who are saying, we're waiting to see what happens with the election before we make any business spending plans. So with all that together, you can imagine sitting around the table at the Fed and trying to balance all that out it's and tough. deciding what you're going to do.